Hello, welcome to the Moment in Christ channel. May the peace of God be with you and your family and friends. Today we will be sharing the five most famous Psalms of the Bible, know more about them, but first leave your prayer request. That we will include your name in our daily prayer book, subscribe to our channel and leave your like, so you help the channel to share the word of God. 5 Most Famous Psalms in the Bible Psalms 23 The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures, he guides me meekly to still waters. It cools my soul, guide me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even if I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I would fear no evil, for you are with me, your rod and your staff they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies, you anoint my head with oil, my cup runs over. Surely goodness and mercy will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord for long days. Psalms 37 Do not be angry with evildoers, nor be envious of those who do iniquity. For soon they will be harvested like grass, and wither like green vegetables. Trust in the Lord and do good, thou shalt dwell in the earth, and thou shalt truly be fed. Delight yourself also in the Lord, and he will give you the desires of your heart. Commit your way to the Lord, trust him, and he will. And he will make your righteousness shine like the light, and your judgment like the noonday. Rest in the Lord, and wait on him, do not be angry because of him who prospers in his way, because of the man who carries out crafty plans. Leave anger, and forsake wrath. Do not be angry in any way to do evil. For evildoers will be cut off, but those who wait on the Lord will inherit the land. For yet a little while, and the wicked shall not be, thou shalt look at its place, and it shall not appear. But the meek will inherit the earth, and they will delight in the abundance of peace. The wicked plot against the righteous, and against him gnash his teeth. The Lord will laugh at him, for he sees that his day is coming. The wicked drew their swords and bent their bows, to bring down the poor and needy, and to slay the upright. But their sword will enter their hearts, and their bows will be broken. The little that the righteous have is better than the riches of many wicked people. For the arms of the wicked will be broken, but the Lord upholds the righteous. The Lord knows the days of the upright, and his inheritance will endure forever. They will not be ashamed in evil days, and in days of famine they will be satisfied. But the wicked shall perish, and the enemies of the Lord shall be as the fat of lambs, will disappear, and in smoke they will dissolve. The wicked borrows and does not pay, but the righteous have mercy and give. For those whom he blesses will inherit the earth, and those who are cursed by him will be uprooted. A good man's steps are confirmed by the Lord, and he delights in his way. Even if he falls, he will not be prostrate, for the Lord upholds him with his hand. I was young, and now I'm old, but I have never seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging for bread. He is always merciful, and lends, and his seed is blessed. Depart from evil and do good, and you will have a home forever. For the Lord loves judgment and does not forsake his saints, they are preserved forever, but the seed of the wicked will be uprooted. The righteous will inherit the land and dwell in it forever. The mouth of the righteous speaks wisdom, his tongue speaks of judgment. The law of your God is in your heart, his steps will not slip. The wicked stalks the righteous, and seeks to kill him. The Lord will not leave him in his hands, nor will he condemn him when he is judged. He waits for the Lord, and he keeps his way, and he will exalt thee to inherit the land, thou shalt see it when the wicked are cut off. I saw the wicked with great power spread like a green tree in the native land. But it has passed and no longer appears, I looked for it but it could not be found. 
Note the sincere man, and consider the upright, because the end of that man is peace. As for the transgressors, they will be destroyed by one, and the relics of the wicked will be destroyed. But the salvation of the righteous is from the Lord, he is his strength in the time of trouble. And the Lord will help them and deliver them, he will deliver them from the wicked and save them, because they trust in him. Psalms 40 I waited patiently for the Lord, and he inclined to me and heard my cry. He took me out of a horrible lake, out of a pond of mud, set my feet on a rock, steadied my steps. And he put a new song in my mouth, a hymn to our God, many shall see it, and fear, and trust in the Lord. Blessed is the man who puts his trust in the Lord, and who does not respect the proud or those who turn to lies. Many are the wonders, O Lord my God, which you have done for us, and your thoughts cannot be counted before you, if I wanted to announce them and talk about them, they are more than can be counted. Sacrifice and offering you did not want, you opened my ears, sacrifice and atonement for sin you did not claim. Then he said, Behold, I come, in the scroll of the book of me is written. I delight to do your will, O my God, yes, your law is within my heart. I preached righteousness in the great congregation, behold, I have not withheld my lips, Lord, thou knowest. I have not hidden your righteousness within my heart, I have proclaimed your faithfulness and your salvation. I did not hide your kindness and your truth from the great congregation. Withdraw not thy mercies from me, O Lord, let your loving kindness and your truth keep me continually. Because countless evils have surrounded me, my iniquities have bound me so that I cannot look up. They are more numerous than the hairs on my head, so my heart fails. Deign, O Lord, to deliver me, O Lord, make haste to help me. Let those who seek my life to destroy it be confounded and shamed together, turn back and be confused those who wish me harm. Be desolate in return for their affront those who say to me, Ah! Oh! Let those who seek you rejoice and rejoice in you, let those who love your salvation always say, Magnified be the Lord. But I am poor and needy, yet the Lord cares for me. You are my help and my deliverer, do not hold back, O oh my God. Psalms 51 Have mercy on me, O God, according to your loving kindness, blot out my transgressions, according to the multitude of your mercies. Wash me completely from my iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my transgressions, and my sin is ever before me. Against you, you only, have I sinned, and done what is evil in your sight, that you may be justified when you speak, and pure when you judge. Behold, I was formed in iniquity, and in sin my mother conceived me. Behold, you love the truth in the inward parts, and in the secret you make me know wisdom. Cleanse me with hyssop, and I shall be clean, wash me, and I will be whiter than snow. Make me hear joy and gladness, that the bones you have broken may enjoy. Hide your face from my sins, and blot out all my iniquities. Create in me a pure heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Do not cast me out of your presence, and do not take your Holy Spirit from me. Give me the joy of your salvation again, and sustain me with a willing spirit. Then I will teach transgressors your ways, and sinners will turn to you. Deliver me from crimes of blood, O God, God of my salvation, and my tongue will highly praise your righteousness. Open my lips, O Lord, and my mouth will sing your praise. For thou dost not desire sacrifices, otherwise I would give them, you do not delight in burnt offerings. Sacrifices to God are the broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart you will not despise, O God. Do good to Zion according to your good pleasure, build the walls of Jerusalem. 
Then you will delight in the sacrifices of righteousness, in the burnt offerings and in the burnt offerings, then bulls will be offered on your altar. Psalms 91 He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my God, my refuge, my strength, and in Him I will trust. For He will deliver you from the snare of the fowler, and from the harmful pestilence. He will cover you with his feathers, and under his wings you will trust, his truth shall be your shield and buckler. You will not be afraid of the terror by night nor of the arrow that flies by day. Neither the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor the slaughter that ravages at noon. A thousand will fall at your side, and ten thousand at your right, but it will not come to you. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold, and see the reward of the wicked. For you, O Lord, are my refuge. You have made your dwelling in the Most High. No evil will befall you, no plague will come to your tent. For he will give his angels charge concerning you, to guard you in all your ways. They will support you in their hands, so that your foot does not strike a stone. You will tread on the lion and the snake, thou shalt trample the young lion and the serpent underfoot. Because he loved me so dearly, I also will deliver him, I will put him in high retirement, because he has known my name. He will call on me, and I will answer him, I will be with him in trouble, I will take him away from her, and I will glorify him. I will satisfy him with length of days, and I will show him my salvation. Subscribe to our channel and leave your like.